Good day, everyone. Welcome to our um, Voice of Faith program. As you know, we are together here every morning, 9 a.m., because we want everybody to receive from the Lord His direction, His guidance, so that they can be blessed in every aspect of their life. But this only happens when we obey His Word. And what does the, the, the voice of God, the Word of God, tells us? The Word of God tells us today about mercy. We have been talking about mercy this week, uh, which is one of the Beatitudes that we can read in Matthew 5. But there is something very interesting in the book of Psalm regarding the mercy of God. It says here, in Psalm 89, verse 14, that righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Mercy and truth go before your face. Here we can see, my friends, that God's uh, throne is uh, founded, is based upon righteousness and justice. What does, what does it mean? It means that our God is righteous. Our God is uh, just. He is fair. Okay? But then it says there, mercy and truth go before your face. What does it mean? It means that even though the throne of God is founded on righteousness and justice, God is not merciless. <laughs> because sometimes when we talk about justice, righteousness, it is easy to be, um, it's easy to be blaming people. It's easy to be um, accusing people, right, uh, of their wrongdoing, especially if you are right. In the case of God, God is always right. God never makes mistake. That's why He is righteous. But then suddenly it says that He is also merciful. It seems like it's contradicting each other, but it's not. It's actually complementing, you know, the character of God. God who is righteous and just can practice justice and righteousness together with mercy. And truth. Okay, just think about that for a while. How could it be possible for God, who is righteous and just, to be merciful? When someone is at fault, he is righteous to uh, condemn the person. But he, he doesn't do that. God doesn't condemn. In fact, God saves. As long as the person is alive, he is ready to save the person. We, we know that. The one that judges is um, and accuses is the devil, is the world. But God doesn't accuse anyone. He doesn't, he doesn't do that. We can see that God is merciful. God loves us. He died for us. We can see that all of this is, uh, you know, is um, the character of God. The character of God is, uh, it's hard to understand. Like the Bible says that his mind is higher than us. It's very hard to understand because those who are uh, in the world, they will be quick to judge those who harm them. But God is not like this. Sometimes you wonder, how can God allow the person to, you know, continue living? The person is evil. Yeah. How? How can God do that? It's because of His mercy. He's giving them chance. The way He sees us is it's a mystery, to be honest. That is why He taught us during this week, blessed are the merciful because they will receive mercy from God. You see, if, if, if you want, if you want um, God's mercy in your life, we have to apply what we learned today in our life as well. We have to be merciful. We have to give mercy to others. It's not tolerating, but we have to give mercy to others. And that is why, my friends, we are preparing ourselves. We, we are going to have this um, uh, 
Bible study in the church about the mercy of God and uh, the Beatitudes. There are so many characteristic. We, we learned about the forgiveness from God. We learned about so many things, yeah? And there are more. And all of this is being a, a preparation for us so that when we face God, there is nothing in us, nothing in our mind, in our conscience that can accuse us. That's why prepare yourself for the Beatitudes, okay? This weekend, continue coming. In our Voice of Faith, continue watching. And for sure, it's going to open more the understanding that God has given you. Now, talking about preparation, are you ready for our event? The biggest event that we have actually about the Ark. We have the Ark um, of the Covenant this um, uh, February. The nine Sundays of Beatitude is every week, but the Ark is this coming February 25. Are you ready for this? Are you preparing yourself for this? Because we are going to have this event and it is going to be the biggest event that we have. So we have two um, <laughs> uh, purposes that we have been doing. The, the nine Beatitudes, Saturday and Sunday, and the Ark on the 25th. If you want to know more about the, the Ark, you can contact us. Okay, We have the QR code on your screen or as well, you can watch this video so that it can give you understanding about what's going to happen. May the Lord bless you abundantly and we will see you again uh, tomorrow. For centuries, the Ark of the Covenant has captivated hearts and ignited curiosity. Housing the Ten Commandments, it acted as a physical reminder of the pact between God and the Israelites. Its journey, a testament to faith and victory over seemingly impossible odds. From its construction under Moses' guidance to its miraculous journeys with the Israelites, the Ark served as a beacon of power and protection. But its legacy isn't confined to the past. Today, you can awaken the spirit of victory within yourself. Join us at the All Answers event. Hear from those who embrace the Divine Presence and found extraordinary answers to their deepest struggles. See how faith in the unseen ignited a spark of hope, leading them to victory in family, health, finances, love, and most importantly, within themselves. You too can unlock this transformative power. The All Answers event awaits Sunday, February 25th at 10 a.m. at the Kowloon Bay International Trade and Exhibition Center. You have the chance to receive His presence within and claim your victory. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Visit our website or call 2827-2525 to register today.